All right, uh, this is a tutorial on how to use my mod builder to edit your map and to add new stuff to it. And also how to just use community offline mode in general to edit your map. So first thing you want to do is subscribe to this and it's gonna download. Also, this is kind of just being done on the fly, no rehearsing. So it's gonna probably be shut, sorry about that. So you're going to go ahead and subscribe to the mod, open Daisy Launcher, and I haven't subscribed to it yet, but let's just pretend this is my mod. You're going to open folder, I understand, and you're going to take, you're going to find at builder, and you're going to copy it, and paste it in here. And then you're also, there's a link on the workshop page. Go to the development branch of community offline mode and download that. Don't use the download in the description. It's going to download the main one, which you do not want. So you're going to want to hit clone or download, download zip, and open. Then you're going to go to your Daisy folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy. Hopefully you know how to get there if you're running a server. Missions. If you don't have a missions folder, I can't remember if there is one, but just create a missions folder here. And then you're going to take, go inside this missions and take this Daisy Community Offline Mode Plus and drop it in here. And for my mod, what you're going to want to do is you're going to right-click this, edit, and at the very end, add dash, or add quote, in quotes, dash mod equals at sign builder. And for any other mod you want to test in Community Offline Mod, you would do the same here with the quotes, with the semicolon to separate them. Then you're going to save that and launch. All right, and for community offline mode, your controls are, you have insert for your free cam, and you can use your scroll wheel to control your speed on that. And if it does something like this when you start to control, or scroll, just tap alt once. And you can just use insert to go back in. And then for your panels, you have Y. So first thing you wanna do when you open this up is you wanna hit G, enable God mode, so you don't starve to death while you're doing your edits and lose everything and then you're going to want to teleport to wherever you want to go and if this isn't you can put your own coordinates in here the coordinates from uh, i survive work as well so you can use that or just manually type your coordinates in i'm going to go to belota for my little demo here and for the way you use the object spawner you can use h to teleport to your cursor as well is also while in free cam you can hold shift to go faster than your current speed so you just hit y object and let's say i wanted to spawn in an atc for some reason atc there we go there's land mill atc small and big you can just spawn at cursor and this little robot arm is how you grab objects select them and move them around and you can use the mouse to drag in the overworld just move it around kind of for a general placement and then for precise you can either type in here anything like type your numbers in you can use decimals or you can just scroll just hover over the number and scroll and then you have your rotation your pitch your roll 
you don't really want to mess with that. And this right here, this list will populate every time you spawn an item. And you can just select them with that. And if you don't know the name of the item you want to spawn, you can just fly around and you'll see, you see this thing. You can just click it and it's Landmill Fortified Nest Watchtower. And then there it is. Also, if you ever search for something and you see something like Landmill, whatever, whatever, and then Builder, whatever, don't use the Builder one. Use the one in game. That's my bad. I fucked up. That shouldn't be there. And then there's items. So far, we've only dealt with items already spawnable in game. So there's also these, or no, that's spawnable. Let's say these. These aren't spawnable, but they are made spawnable with Builder. You'll click them, and you'll get static H barrier underscore for them. What you're going to want to do is you don't want to put static. You want to put BLDR underscore H barrier, and there it is. You can just spawn that in, click it, move it around, rotate it. And that's a good way if you don't know the name of what, if you're looking for a specific object and you can't find it, you can just click it, get the name and type it in and search it. It's like that's land tank, land airfield small, or no, that's not right. Static tank. So you would just search builder tank small rusty. Boom, you've spawned that in. Alright, and once you've spawned in all the shit you want and put it where you want, sorry for my language, sorry about that, all the stuff you want and put it where you want, let's say for whatever reason this is good to you, you like this, uh, what you're going to want to do is hit Control S and it's going to say Copy to Clipboard. What you're going to do then is you're going to tab out. All right, and to add them to your server, you're gonna wanna go to your Daisy server, MP missions, Daisy offline. And you're gonna wanna make a new file, a text document, rename it, including the extension. If you don't see this, you're gonna wanna just do a save as, I'll show you how to do that in a second to fix that, but you're just gonna wanna name it something like, let's say, custom buildings. All right. Or wait, no, don't do that. Rename it custom buildings. That's C. Yes. You're gonna open it and you're gonna type void uh, add buildings and then open and close parentheses. Open bracket and then you're gonna wanna paste your output from when you hit control S. So you're just gonna paste all this here. This is just a bridge. Uh, I'm editing this video after the fact. So this is just something else I've made. This is on the workshop page if you want to use it. And then at the very bottom, you're going to want to right here, put a close bracket. Save, and then you're going to go to your init and open that. And you're going to want to put this line here. This uh, pound include current deer, all this, including the double slashes. If your mission is something else, like... Uh, Daisy Survival, I believe, is one that a lot of people use. You just want to rename that. And whatever you name that file, you want to put it right here. What did I name it? Custom Buildings. And then right here at the end of your void main, make a new line and add buildings. Save. Let me make sure that's the right. Yeah, okay, add buildings. So just going to save. Close all this. And then to set up on the server, you're going to open folder, understand, you're going to copy this, go to your server, and paste. I already have it here, but yeah. And then you want to go inside here, there's a keys folder, you're going to open that up, copy this, and find your keys folder in your daisy server root, and paste it here. Uh, ignore these other three I have, they're just from other shit I've been testing. But after you do that, you're going to want to, however you start your server. Uh, Alright, 
and then you're going to want to go to your batch file and edit and you're going to want at the very end add a open quotes mod equals at sign builder items and end quote let's say you already have a mod on here let's say the mod is called uh weapon redux pack for example very great mod you should uh, subscribe you're just gonna at the end of what you already have and if you don't already have the quotes put the quotes around it at the end of what you have put a semicolon and at builder items and that's how you add extra mods but there you go you have that so you just add the oh wait shit don't delete all that the dash mod builder items save and you should be able to just start your server and let's see if I can connect and then on the client make sure you have whatever mods on the server enabled play testing just go to LAN and if you have a password so no one gets in your test server put in your super secret password spawn in and you'll see this. <laughs> so yeah, that's all you gotta do. Get it enabled and running on your server. Also, just as like a little showcase, Here's all the different types of objects you can spawn. Props, all kinds of things. Lockers, crates. You can make any house a piano house if you so want. But this, this mod will include, it doesn't currently, it'll include trees as roads. You can add new roads in. CRDS. Though the roads preview is kind of bugged. For some reason they're way down here. But you could spawn that there. And raise it just a little and there's a road. Just like that. You'd ha it's They're kind of a real big pain to place properly and make them look good. So it's a lot of work to work with. But you can do it if you so please. It'll have trees, rocks, all that kind of stuff in the future. Fences, if you've ever wanted to build, let's say, a safe zone and you, all you could do was use, uh, use castle walls. Now you can use, let's see, wall, tin con. You can use all kinds of different walls now. And yeah, once this mod is complete, you'll be able to place just about anything in the game. Currently, there's only about a thousand items out of, I think, maybe three thousand about that aren't properly spawnable. But there you go. If I missed anything, let me know. Sorry if the video sucks. Uh, kind of had no script or anything going with this, but there you go.